Hello guys, BJ here, and we are diving into the brand new season of Warp Forge August. We have got the new rank system. If we click on my profile and go down to ranking, you can see we've got the pro ladder. I finished 31st last season with about 4,040 MMR. Um, and so we are starting right in the legendary division. We have 2,500 points per faction. And essentially, as we play games, we will um, build our scores against that now. Um... I've got a few different things that I want to try. Um, I'm actually not sure on which Eldar deck is going to be uh, be, be best, actually. Um, I have an Altark, a Keltok build that I've kind of put together. Uh, obviously keen to try out the new health, uh, the new cheaper hero power there. I have a all flying deck, which I'm really keen to, to test as well with Zephyr Blade. Um, and I also have a more traditional kind of Galing build. I think I'm actually going to start with Zephyr Blade. I wanted to kind of like really test this now because. Some of the flight support got buffed, right? The winged out attack got buffed. It's a really solid unit. Um, the fire prism got buffed. The sky runner got buffed. Um, I feel like this deck might need a uh, one of of the stealth, but I'm not really sure what to put in. Or what to drop. So I think what we'll do is we'll 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 play we'll play we'll start with it like this and then we'll see uh we'll see how it plays and what we feel we could drop as we go. Abaddon We got normal conditions. Installed Abaddon. Ah, hit the legionary. Man. Problem now, if we drop this, is we could just this could just get completely machine gunned. That's really harsh. Completely lost our tempo there. Okay, might be giving it us back there now. Yeah, he is. Okay. I think we'll use Fireheart here. So I kind of don't want to lose the spider just yet. It's like, wait, is it going to die? <laughs> It. 
pick up our first stone of the game. Not really a deck built around stones, to be fair, but... If he plays the Venom Crawl, he's got armor, right? So we can hit him for six with a prism. Okay. In that case, we might actually play the Wave Serpent out here. Yeah, I think we will. I'm not going to hit this, it's got regen on anyway. We should be able to start dropping some bombs now. Interesting. So he's going in on the damage here. Because I can't play this if I want to kill this. This looks like a really good AoE for him. I'll strike. I'll Drake strike. Very top heavy, this. so we can hit that with a prism. This is where the stealth would be so good, right? Stealth might actually be better than the fire and fade. And that would have been a good fire and fade, like in terms of value, but we're just not gonna have time to replay this kind of value. Fire and fade's better on like the cheaper units. This is gonna be a traitor's hate, so he kills this. Pretty much got me down to what, one here.
There's a very small chance we could win this. Very small. Okay, we need to thin out the uh we need to thin out the end game for sure. Uh I think I'm gonna do one out at one prism. One warlock. Right, that gives me four units. Definitely want to put one stealth in here. And we need some earlier game stuff. Uh, vipers. Try the vipers. I mean, it's probably going to be Galen, right? It's probably going to be the Eldar. This is the time to test, though, if I'm understanding the current system, because while we're on 2500, it can't go down. Nice curve. Gives me answers. Uh, do I actually want acid rain? Probably. Probably benefits me, right? Heal 3, take 1. Heal 3, takes 2. Nice trade. That last game, we just drew like all of our top end, and there was no. It was just like drop one bomb, drop one bomb. There were no kind of like options really in the end game play. So hopefully, change should be made and balance this out a little bit. Um, you know what? That just kills that, doesn't it? Gonna do this. Um, I want to just kill that and get the stone. I think I do. Do it this way. Yeah, okay, so that's both your gargoyles gone. Oh, maybe we should have kept the thing. Maybe that was a mistake. Oh, no. Yeah. Ah, uh, too early in the game to do that. Okay, lesson learned. We should have definitely kept the... Um, the Wart Spider. That would have been a beautiful turn. Drop with the spider. And then we're into our late game. Misplay. Misplay BJ. Misplay. We've given him the tempo now. Yeah. Big time. Big time.
Oh yeah, we need to put the car back on, don't we? Swarmlord kind of doesn't like flyers, right? Wow. Let's kind of like try and set up lethal. we got here now? You can do Shuriken 2, so that's 4. You can add plus 1 with the hero parts, 5. Plus 3 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. We would be one off. Oh, that's annoying. But basically... Do this. Yes. I think that might be our best bet. Okay, boys, it looks like we got him. We can actually get the start a double storm off here as well if we wanted it, but we don't need it. Because what we could do, I'll just show you, we could basically do this. Uh, yeah. Smack into this. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, take that and then we can put the storm on. Just a different way. Like, if we needed the extra power, we would have done that. Okay. Interesting. It's an interesting, like, tricky match for Swarmlord. Because of all the, um, because of, like, flying. So we got plus 30 there. So if we check out here now, what will happen is, you see our Eldar's come, like, gone up to 2,530. 
Now, what I don't know is if we lose with Eldar, whether it goes down or whether the top score stays. But then how would you know what your current score? Gwent would kind of show you that. Um, and I just can't remember from reading what it said would happen. I need to, I need to kind of just probably test it, really. Um, this is definitely, this definitely felt better having a slightly lower curve, for sure. Um, still not sure about the fire and fade in it. Not had much chance, though, to kind of make use of it. I feel like it might just be a one-off, you know. Yeah, maybe it's a one-off. Let's do another one. I am keen to try Keltok. Abaddon. Uh, choose Simham Infantry and put it in hand. Gain two Spirit Stones. Uh... I think, I think I'll take this one, actually. Need to update my um, card back, I think. Season, I want to kind of try that one. Okay, so let's just see what we can get first. So I'll probably take a Banshee, I think, out of all that. And we'll just drop... Um, to drop do we want to drop spider or do we want to drop this guy wire it's a close one I think we go with the we go with the scorpion actually not many units in Chaos that this guy is going to get his uh, attack and survive, so that's why I don't mind playing it out here and just kind of getting a little bit of early tempo and value and stuff. Play a stealth on this. And then, if he wants to play Traitors here, he can't develop like Venom Crawler. He's already dropped his 4 drop, so it could be awkward for him. Yeah, okay, cool.
So this, we could do um, five. You do eight and put them to 15. Set that up. Do we play for lethal here rather than trying to kill this? Question is, do we play that? I think we don't. I think we just go. Just go in here. Another. Got the second um, thing, so the. Ah. Brings the storm online, which is nice. I presume he's going to clear that with Abaddon. Spawned them. Spawned them again. If the range attack, nice. Oh, lovely. Okay, well, this deck definitely struggles with uh, Abaddon, because that's twice we've had by that. Let me just go and look now what happens to the ranking here. So it does just go back down, so it doesn't keep your top score. That's interesting. I thought I'd read somewhere that the top score sticks, unless it's the global rank rating top score. Let me just have a read of it. What am I missing here? On le reaching legendary, players start with 2,500 for each faction. Win and losing games while playing particular faction will adjust the faction's rating similar to the old system. Faction leaderboards. Separate leaderboards will exist for each faction based on the highest rating achieved this season. Only the highest rating e uh, each player has reached this season will be taken into account. Players will not drop in the leaderboard when they lose matches and their current rating drops. Oh, so that, the global leaderboard will rank players by their global rating, which is the average of the four factions. This means that players will be more likely to top the global leaderboards to show expertise in commander. Right, so basically the... Um, if we go on here, go on leaderboard... How do we see the faction leaderboards then? I don't know how we do that. I don't, I don't know where we see the faction leaderboards. Anybody know? Like a that's his leaderboard. Where's the faction leaderboard? That's Alliance. That's says top players. Can't see a faction leaderboard anywhere. Put something on Discord and see if anyone knows.
anyone know where the faction leaderboards are? Okay. Uh, I have to say I'm not enjoying the Zephyr Blade, regardless of... I, I do think this this deck is definitely better now with the kind of flights and stuff, but um, I'm kind of keen to ch try Keltox. So let's let's have a go at this. Let's have a look. Um, I think I only want one Fire Prism, one Hemlock. I'm not actually sure whether the winged Altark is correct in this or not, to be honest. Probably isn't. Uh, that gives us two cards. Let's have a look. What have we got in the three drops? Just the scorpions. We don't want to warp spiders, you know, in, in Antop because it, we need to get our hand down to five for stars to work. Uh, so we're missing the five drop flankers, right? Probably need to put those back in. We also could probably do with one of these evasive maneuvers. Let's put one, one flanker in. We want the ranger. I'm just keen to see how this works, man. Uh, honest to God, before we start like really trying to seriously rank up, I just want to kind of like test a few things. Um, so let's let's just give Keltok a, a, sh a little run out. Oh no! Bloody playing against Keltok. <sighs> Boy. Normally you keep a storm in the mirror. Do you keep it against Keltop though? I'm gonna keep the hemlock just for uh, correction. Gain two stones. Yeah, I think we take that in this one. We don't want to clog our hand up, right? Excess units. Okay, so you want to put this back. A little bit of a misplay on my part there. I should have played this first because I was about to play it anyway. So I'll get the stones. This first. Yeah, that would be nice, but we don't have anything to attack, so to suffer. It is a problem as well because we're not emptying our hand. Okay, so apparently the faction leader rating leaderboards are not tracked. Uh, they're not enabled yet. They are tracked, but they're not displayed yet. That's interesting.
that just worth? Probably is, right? We kind of want a Spirit Steer next turn, then we want an Infinity, and then we want to Reclaim, probably. we do this, right? Range attack with this to kill this. This. It's the best value board state we can do. first. Oh, wait, I think. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's what the second thing for. Kind of messed that up.
Okay, nice. Strange match, it's a tempo back and forth. Yep. So we got five. Seven, eight, nine. GG, buddy. Path of the Warrior. Deal 1,000 damage with Shuriken. Okay. Felt decent. Felt decent. Uh, Ranger... Cool. To the next one. Oh, warp storm. Get my ability for free. Yes, please. Yes, please, Abaddon. So fun at getting this free every time. <laughs> okay, nut self versus Abaddon. Always take warp storm. free every turn, I feel a bit better about doing something like that. I do want to get it back for sure. 
Got a long way to go, yeah. Ugh. That was mean, Abaddon. That was mean. Okay. This. Uh, probably gonna do... Probably don't need the infinity, right? So cool if we can if we can play Kelton. Really, one of my favourite warlords. Been ma massively underpowered for some time. I'm very happy about this change. Got the warp talent, flyer. But uh, the stealth is very limited. All right, drawing out a spawn them. Grab some water. That's really interesting. I didn't even know we had that in the deck. Honestly, I don't think we need to play that in this deck. I really don't think we need stones here. Although, maybe we should put the hemlock. No, let's put this back. This feels like a Black Crusade though, doesn't it? Wow. Okay. Okay, so let's go... Yeah, let's just do this and let's just... Do this. And let's do this. Now we can start attacking once that's on and then we we'll probably just get rid of this, right? So this is where we claim the stars would be nice. Right about now. But I'm glad we kept the hemlock anyway. Because we're getting into, yeah, we're getting into this type of territory, right? Big stuff. Obviously, the Dance of Death will finish that off. I don't want to put this back for now. Okay, we just need to find that Reclaim the Stars now.
We've still got two left, so we could actually find... We put this back. We could find a Wind Rider here. Oh, been good. Okay, so he's got to kill this with this, right? Surely to God. Oh my God. He's going to try and machine gun it down, isn't he? Okay, that would be pretty devastating for me. If we got that off somehow. Okay, so let's think about this. We really want to stun Abaddon, right? Oh, we didn't need to do that. Right, let's get rid of the Crimson Hunter. Because it's no use matching up against this. Let's see if we get Reclaim. Don't get Reclaim. Ah, oh, I think I've played this terribly. But we'll just set up lethal next turn. Helltop feeling good though, man. Okay. So what we're going to do... Do we want to do this first, or do we want to push this afterwards? I think what we do is we do this. We got him! Nice! Helltop beating Abaddon quite handily. Quite handily. Okay, so uh, that was feeling pretty good. I definitely want to drop the Skyrunner. I don't, we don't need a Skyrunner in there. I'm not sure how the hell that got in there. So let's get rid of that. We'll bring the Wraith Blade in instead. Uh, is there an earlier... Hmm... If there's something earlier we need, let's have a look. Curve felt quite nice, actually. I felt quite nice. So, hold up, rough ranking, isn't it? Yeah. So my Eldar is now is up to two thousand six hundred. Okay. 
through. I'm going to come back to this, guys, and I'll start doing some separate videos. But I kind of just want to show you, like, I'm going to try and play a game with this, I think. And then we can um, show you how the global ranking works. If we can get a win, then that means we can have, you'll see, like, the Eldar win, the Tyranids are up there, and then we'll see the combination. So this is a Spores deck. Azul. Uh, okay, we're just gonna heal self. I don't know whether it's an aggro y tempo or more of a control one stage, so we're just gonna chill. And this will allow us to hit back the tempo. interesting player here right we could do this and stealth but we've got to attack first now haven't we something like this Alright. Alrighty. So now... Now we can... Uh, let's just kill that. Let's just kill this. Let's just kill... This. And let's play this. And what do we want to heal? I think we want to go here, actually. And I think we want to heal here. And say, there you go, mister. Deal with three spores. Wait a minute. Okay, now deal with three spores. Okay, that was mean. I mean, that was such a timely AoE, like, we we were about to absolutely destroy, oh my god, he's got another one, okay. Okay, we're kind of being wrecked by those AoEs. Just 
just need this to survive. One turn, but it's going to get methodical destruction, and that's GG. Fuck. Every, every answer here. This is insane. So what is this? Like a control MSR? This is not a tempo MSR, is it? Was the game froze? God, why the game's frozen? No? Still playing. Somehow. Let me guess, you've got a second one. Vulnerable 2. Yeah, that'll clear it. Now. Yeah. Oh, he's not even trying to clear it. That was that seemed like a bit of a misplay. What was that? We don't actually have to hit, do we, for, to trigger artifice on there? Okay. He's used both AoEs. ping that and we can ping and ping that and then I think we do this that needs to die right I think we're just gonna have to attack with this I'm actually not gonna play that yeah I'm not gonna play that Do with one of my big lads. RP, Broodlord, Ithe Crown. Okay, that's just quite nice. So, what we do is, do this. And we do this. And then we need to flank, right? We do this. And we do this. And then we do oh. oh this blank Do this. Okay.
If that gene stealer survives, he's in a lot of trouble here. Okay. Okay, so we want to go... We kind of want to do this. Hopefully we got him here. The second methodical destruction. Uh, Oh, when an enemy attacks, deploy a spawn mine. I was even thinking it was when it attacks the Harpy, but it's just when it attacks full stop. Oh, this card's really solid, man. Oh, my lord. Yeah, boy. What a game. G, G. G, 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 G. All right. So, uh, deck is looking pretty nice. Um, that's really interesting about the Harpy, you know. That makes me actually want to play too. I think I overlooked that. Do the player spawn mine whenever we attack full stop. I really like that. Um, yeah. Deck feels decent. Definitely want to play out some more of that. So let's look now at the ranking, right? So we can see we've got our Tunid one up and our Eldar one up. So that gives us a global ranking of 2523. Uh, and yeah us up there all right very cool very cool so thanks for watching guys what i'm going to do in the next video is i'm going to like really hone in now and focus on like one um one faction at a time and do a video for each one um but yeah just wanted to kind of kick things off get started familiarize you with the new ranking system and uh, just do a little bit of testing here um before we kind of get into like a solid you know 10 games at once with with a deck all right guys let me know in the comments any thoughts any questions and i'll see you in the next one